Hi, I'm Will Gaddy from Gem VR, and today we're going to be flying a modified DJI Inspire 1V Pro. And in this particular case, we've got two 360 fly, uh, 360 degree cameras. Um, the two of them side by side should provide us a, uh, once we stitch the images, uh, a stereoscopic VR view. And in order to meet weight requirements, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, um, I've actually taken off my X5R uh, RAW gimbal and replaced it with the X5, which puts us just right in the, the sweet spot for weight limitations. And I'll show you guys uh, where we cleared the weight uh, with uh, four uh, analytical scales. Uh, we actually did this up here, and we also did it down in my shop. Um, up here we measured from the landing gear. Uh, down in my shop I had it set up so that we could actually measure it from the prop motor mounts, which is actually where you want to measure uh, center of gravity and uh, weight and balance for this because it's the props that are working against the weight and center of gravity, so you want to measure it there instead of from the landing gear. Um, and that also helps account for the fact that the, the landing gear are going to raise once the, uh, the aircraft is in the air. So it looks like we've got a couple of eagles here, uh, very interested in our activity. Not just my dog, but also my drone. Hopefully they don't uh, try and take us away. Alright, so back to the lab. This is the X5R gimbal. As you can see, it's, uh, well, you can't actually see it. It's 440 grams. It's a little too heavy. This is the X5, and it's a little better in the Goldilocks zone as far as weight when we add all this stuff up, which I'll show you shortly. So for the lens itself, it's at 142 or so grams, so we'll add all that in. Alright, so this is the load and balance check. And this one's off the scale, but basically just a hair over 500 grams and compared to its nominal configuration you know, I think we're good to go All right, so here we go now what I'm doing here is I'm mostly just making sure that the craft is stable A little boring to watch, but all necessary. Here. And so taking it up a little bit. And again, just making sure this thing isn't getting winds aloft and catching any breezes that uh, make it unstable. And I'm just going to let it sit here and hover for a while in PPPS mode just to make sure that you know, nothing's completely out of balance and out of whack. Give the eye rips with the uh, with the gimbal. It's kind of a necessary evil. I've done no rig removal in post production on this. This is pretty much raw, straight off the rig. And so right about now, I'm taking it out of uh, PGPS and putting it into PADI mode. And again, just making sure that there's no severe imbalances that. You know, all from the flight characteristics of this. I'm not doing any figure eights or rotations or anything kinky like that. Just strictly uh, doing some side to side. Just make sure it you know, keeps a, a level line. Alright, so at this point I'm pretty satisfied that it's pretty stable, so let's go take it up. 
So I am going to switch it back to PGBS at this point. Noticing right about here that the ground directly below the camera system is, is a little hard to look at. There's a little bit of disparity in there, and I'm thinking that's mostly due to the compression that the camera's using. It's having a little bit of trouble with the, uh, the dark texture of the grass. And it's never coming back down. It's a little unstable. Just remember, this camera system is not gimbal, so it's going to follow the attitude of the craft as it comes down. And I'm pretty much only using the X5 as a, uh, a witness camera, a, uh, a POV camera for this flight. All right, there we go. Wasn't trying to do anything cinematic or dramatic here. Just prove out that this camera system can safely fly on the DJI Inspire.